just uh, shoot. I tried, I unhooked everything except just the radio straight to the antenna and seeing how it do and uh, just seeing what the difference is on it. It seemed to be uh, working pretty doggone good. And man, you sound good. You hi-fi stereo though, Roger. Oh, Roger, on that, I appreciate it. I was just fixing to ask you how my audio was. Yeah, you put about a nine on me, uh, I'm pointing up that way. Yeah, Roger. This is that, uh, this is that ICOM 7300. Uh, I can go to an uh, RCI. I can go to a different radio and play a Watergate back to you if, you, if you'd rather hear yourself. Uh, it don't matter why. I don't want to put you in no trouble. Whatever you, uh, whatever you want to do, man. Shoot, the worst thing I can do, <laughs> the worst thing I can do is get carpal tunnel trading out two coaxes. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right. I got it, uh, I still got it bad footed, but I jumped to the, uh, RCI right there. You hear me with about four watts, dead key out there? Oh, yeah, I still got you in there. Oh, good lord. Yeah, you pumped up, man. You really pumped up. I tell you what, hang on just a second, I'll go get a... I, well, I'll go ahead and water gate you, then I'll video gate you. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and come on back to me. Yeah, uh, Silver Ego, I got one, uh, running on, running on you on this end. Uh, ever since we started talking there, uh, I got one on uh, Rodeo Clown before uh, you come in there too. Yeah, Roger. Here you go. Let me get it back to you. That's the nice thing about having it built in the radio, man. It, it, it takes all the politics out there, boy. Yeah, Tenfold. <laughs> I got an external one over here. I bought it off of eBay. Uh, it's, uh, it says uh, Red Man CB radio, a key up toy, uh, you know, recorder. Yeah, I've seen, uh, I've seen Red Man on the internet. I didn't know anything about it, but I have seen him. Yeah, it's. Same thing that you got over there. Uh, I just ain't never used it. I, you know, I got so many radios I switch back and forth to, and uh, it's only a four pin. I got to hook up to a four pin. Yeah, Roger. If you ever get somebody uh, going back to you fighting, they'll they'll show sure want to hear themselves, man, because you'll be trying to pick the person out, and they'll say, yeah, uh, you're politicking, but that that'll break that up, but. It's a guy over in Pontotoc that uh, can put him in and do a, he can do a lot of stuff with him, man. He, uh, I think I may have told you about that, that RCI 2950 I got right here. Uh, it ain't, I got an 85 up here, but this 50 don't have a meter on it, you know, so I got an external S meter, and this guy figured out a way to make the external X meter plug right into it uh, on the uh, on the PA speaker part. Just plug it in, and the S meter goes it was $15 on eBay. It was a Yezu S meter. And uh, he figured out how to do it. Uh, put a water gauge in it. Got it swinging off like 90 bucks, Roger. 10 pull. Is that one of those little square uh, meters you're talking about? Yeah, Roger. Yeah, uh, yeah, those $15 meters you see on eBay, the external S meter, they got like an 8-inch jack on the back, and they plug directly into where your PA speaker would go in your radio. So he figured out a way to take that and plug it into the PA of your RCI. That way he, he doesn't change anything inside the radio. It just, once you plug it in, now you got two meters. And uh, it, it makes a big difference. It helps a lot on turning the beam and all that. And uh, like I say, this guy can do this stuff. He's, he's really good price though. He's really smart. He's, he's over in Pontotoc here, Roger. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, I got one uh, hooked up to this radio. I can run either or. Uh, the 29, you know, is digital, and then uh, I can plug that one in, and my technician got it fixed up 
because there's a little bit of difference in the analog meter tempo. Yeah, yeah, Roger. Yeah, I like that setup, man. I, I wish I still had that. I had a 29 like you talking about. I've seen it on your video gates. Uh, I messed up and traded that thing to Rodeo Clown. You was just like that. And he put a dollar watt in there for me so I could turn it down to a half a watt and let it swing. And man, I messed up letting it go. I really liked that radio, but I was just... At the time, I was running across a better deal, you know, but <laughs> any time you get let go of a good radio, you, you you never can get that one back. You always wish you can, but live and learn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I done made so many uh, uh, mistakes in this business. Uh, you just, like you said, live and learn. Yeah, that's right, man. But, yeah, at least he, uh, he was his brother-in-law guy, I think, and, and, and shoot, I'm, I'm glad he's enjoying it. You know, it ain't just pulling off nothing like that. He's actually enjoying it, man, so I'm tickled about that. Uh, shoot. But anyway, I ain't gonna hold you up, Radio Man. You sounded really good, man. You're smoking over here, and uh, you got a good receive, man. Like I said, I have nothing in line tonight. I was just bad through the kids. No skip rolling, so it was earlier today, but that played out real quick, so do a little bit faster ground waving. Sounding good, man, over there. Uh, down near the neck of the woods there. 445, Silver Eagle up in Tate County, back wide. All right, Silver Eagle. i get this thing uh, posted up tomorrow, okay? It's kind of late tonight. But hey, you sounding good, Silver Eagle, up there around North Mississippi. 445 down here around the crossroads. We back wide. All right, 445. Take care, man. You're smoking. Sounded real good. Posted up tomorrow, okay? It's kind of late tonight. I appreciate it. Sounds good. I even got it on recording. Okay, okay, take care. Click, click.